Hello, everybody. This is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. I expect this video to be very short. I've already talked at great length on this subject. And if you'd like to see my full teaching on this, then you can go to my playlist, What is the State of the Dead? I have made many videos myself and I have collected many other videos from uh, other YouTube uh, Bible teachers on this subject. Uh, I also would refer you to another YouTube channel that specializes in this subject and that channel is Rethinking Hell. Let me first say that uh, many of you probably do not agree with my conclusion on the subject of eternal torment. I think it is not true and, un and it's also unbiblical. But you don't have to agree with me on this subject. I hope you can show me the same courtesy, extend the, that kind of grace to me, that kind of liberty to me that we're not required to agree on this. Uh, I am not teaching or putting forth the idea of universalism that uh, everybody gets to go to heaven. No, not at all. There are still two paths. One goes to heaven and eternal life, and that is gained only by uh, grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. So if someone has not put their entire faith on Jesus Christ and his payment for our sins, that he paid the full price and our sins are completely paid for, and for that reason alone, we get to go to heaven. We get the gift of eternal life. If you never come to that conclusion and never put your faith entirely on Jesus, then you will not go to heaven. So please do not misunderstand. I am not uh, uh, teaching uh, universal salvation. I am saying, though, that those people who never put their faith in Jesus will not be uh, eternally tormented in, in, uh, in hell as uh, the majority of Christians believe today. Now, as I said, I've, I have a lot of information on my playlist on this subject, but for now, I want to just make one simple point, and I believe this point here completely squashes and destroys the idea of eternal torment for the lost. And that is simply that uh, you must choose. You cannot have propitiation and also have eternal torment. They are diametrically opposed and it's clearly oxymoron to think that they can coexist. Now, let me define these terms. I've I've told you already that eternal torment is that uh, the lost suffer torment forever and ever and ever. It never ends. Uh, but what is propitiation? Propitiation simply means that uh, Jesus paid the full price for our sins on that cross. Uh, Jesus, as he died on the cross, says it is finished. It is completed. Uh, the Sin problem has been resolved. The debt is paid in full. So, let me ask you. Why do people suffer eternal torment in hell, if that's what you believe? Why do they do that? If you believe that they're suffering eternal torment uh, because of their sins, because they're a sinner, they're lost, and they never got saved, and that that is 
payment for their sins. That's the the uh, the, the price they pay, eternal torment. Then you're actually saying that Jesus did not pay the full price to pay for our sins. Unless you believe that Jesus is suffering eternal torment in hell right now, and he will be suffering for all eternity in our place. For you to believe that eternal torment is the price for uh, being lost, for not receiving propitiation, for not receiving the, the gift of eternal life, uh, then you must also believe that Jesus either must be suffering in hell now and forever, or that the price for a lost person is not eternal torment, but is just simply suffering and death on the cross. If you believe that Jesus did pay the full price, as the Bible says, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So if you believe as I do, that all of our sins were placed on Jesus on that cross, and he took the punishment we deserve, and it's completed and perfect, the perfect payment paid in full, then uh, you cannot also believe that uh, his death on the cross wasn't enough, that there, there's also got to be uh, eternal torment, because if Jesus paid our price, if Jesus took our place, and our place is eternal torment in hell, if we're lost, then Jesus has to take our place in hell forever and ever and ever, suffering eternal torment. So, um, I, I think that there's, there's no way around this, that uh, you must choose. You must either believe that eternal torment is wrong because Jesus did pay the full price for our sins on the cross. Or you must believe that Jesus did not pay the full price uh, because the price includes suffering eternally in hell. And if you believe that is true, then in order to, for Jesus to really pay our price, he must be in hell now. He must be in hell forever suffering in our place. So there's a hundred arguments I could give you against eternal torment. Watch my playlist. What is the state of the dead? Go to the YouTube channel, Rethinking Hell, if you want more information. But as far as I'm concerned, the, the conflict between propitiation and eternal torment settles the issue. Uh, it should settle it for you, unless you're going like this and you just won't listen. So if you think there's any way out of this, uh, then uh, make a comment and let me know. Thank you for watching. Bless you in the name of our great Savior God, Jesus, who did pay the full payment for our sins on the cross.